I was feeling really down and depressed because I had no one to play tennis with. Yeah, I can't believe you guys didn't play table tennis with Jason. It was literally the one thing we said when we left. It's like, make sure you swim at sunset and play table tennis with Jason. It was heartbreaking. And now that Robbie's back, I'm just like so happy because I get to play every day. Now we're playing every day, so everything's all right again. We're like slowly healing the wounds. Two hours to launch, <laughs> just discovered that this is happening. You know, for some reason in the consent room you can just spawn a thousand penises. Robbie, did you say this is a serious problem? Yeah, it's, it's fine, I'll fix it. It's not that serious. <laughs> How serious is serious? I mean, it's like breaking the game, but it will be easy to fix. <laughs> okay. 24 hours away from launch and things are still breaking, but such is life, I realize. Probably Richard's networking stuff that he did last night. Mm. I suppose to like hand over to streamers, but like online multiplayer was just like all these like weird things were happening. I was getting like weird synchronization errors. Um, so I had to like stay up and fix that and I worked till like 8 a.m. Go away. How's it going? Fine. When I left, it looked really stable, so now I have like the terrible feeling of like having to sit down and like check if like the overnight gnomes destroyed all my code, which often happens. Hi, I'm Luis Hernandez. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and uh, I'm one half of uh, Necrophone Game Studio. I'm Danielle Hopkins, also from Toronto, and I run a studio exhibition space called Electric Perfume that's a tech art incubator. I think we're both really nature uh, yeah. oriented. So we've been chasing lizards and we're looking at flies. <laughs> chasing crabs, trying to like follow stuff with a shotgun microphone, hopefully finding something cool that we can record. We think this one's a buck skull of a, what's called a rusa deer. Just trying to like photograph and get a sense of like what's unique about this place and then hopefully we can come up with something and maybe make a little game or something based on our experiences. Everybody has been super cool and super relaxed, I guess because it's so perfect here, like it's a paradise. And you guys have been here for months, so yeah, I feel like it's- And none of you wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> we're still, we're still wearing our, our Canadian, our black Canadian socks. Because we're, in our brains, it's still winter time. And everybody here, I haven't seen a single sock this whole time, so. The game jam that you organized, out of it came this idea that if you were a penis and you had a butthole, it'd be fun to chase each other. There was a drawing that went up on the wall of the office where of a bunch of penises stacked together in each other's assholes. <laughs> and you took it down. <laughs> I remember you drew that and I got so excited about it that I took it and I stuck it up next to my like wall on my desk. That's when I got upset. It yeah. was a motivational poster. I came into work and like you had just started sitting next to me and this was like three, four years ago and I get into work and there's just penises all over the wall. I'm like, this <laughs> is not a good work environment. I do not approve. Ew. And now I laugh yeah. at that kind of stuff and draw smiley faces on them. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, now you're producing that very game. <laughs> In all fairness, I don't think it was ever your choice. I remember the moment vividly. I was sitting on the couch next to Russell. I'm like, he wants to do the penis game. <laughs> For real. <laughs> the greatest penis game of all time. We can definitely claim that. The most elaborate dick joke of all time. Yes. I can't remember the Broforce launch anymore. 
Like, but I don't really have a memory of that time. Because you hadn't slept for 48 hours and we were no longer forming memories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was pro approximately it. It's definitely like a lot less panicky. Feeling kind of okay. I run out of underwear again. <laughs> that might not be like a crunch thing, that might just be a me thing. I was less panicked and more just like, stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just panic. Making games, being yeah, stupid. I mean, what are you panicked about? Like, what is your worst? My worst thing is that everyone's gonna hate it. So? That'd be funny. Like, I'm gonna actually get some sleep tonight, I think. Like, I wanna go home now, sleep, and then I'll be like fresh tomorrow to like deal with the shitstorm of like problems that will eventually come out, but I won't have to like crunch and then deal with that, which is nice. <sighs> worst that could happen is that we release a bad game, our entire audience turns on us, and somehow destroys our entire <laughs> life. All those people you've been chatting to for years about Broforce, because just, <laughs> just send you scathing emails. Block you on Skype. Yeah. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> <laughs> no. But well, that won't happen. <laughs> <It's> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>
Perfect. Hold on. All publishing tasks have been completed. The application is now visible in the Steam Store. Of course you're shaking and spraying everywhere. Have you seen this you have to spray it all over us. <laughs> Got it in my eyes. <laughs> And now for the consequences of our actions. Hey, more like this. All porn game. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I know we got the E3 best dick game. Yeah. <laughs> best dick game at um, E3. Feeling um, stoked, yeah. but like, anxious, not anxious, but just like wanting some feedback. Like we pushed it into the world and I'm just like waiting for something to come back. We've only got one comment on our Steam page so far and it's just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we have two icons that are busy licking themselves and then the third what? guy is, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> licking themselves? <laughs> There's an emoji for that? I can send a screenshot, hold on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, 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 I think I think the the thing being we don't know who's playing it, how they're receiving it, how people are reacting. Like we just know that it exists in the world at this point. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Twenty agonizing minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Uh, we don't know if the build is broken yet, but I'm happy that it's out. Are they free last? Oh, we let the trigger one. Go quickly make another bubble to trigger one again. Yeah. yeah. What? yeah. That's you can't make report. another bolt now? Of course you can, you can keep on making it. I mean, don't you remember Broforge? <laughs> <laughs> hey Dee, how's it going? It's going pretty rad. Cool. I'm in paradise. Mm. I have a new outfit of clothing. Nice. Things are good. So Shaz, is it uh, Arts and Craft Day at Free Lives again? What have you just finished doing here with Shaz? Uh, we finished making some posters. Mostly I ran around and placed them in exciting and new spaces. Oh. <laughs> 